Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this single page website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website so that everyone can see it. So let's get started. Now we're going to host our website on a service called netlify.com. So just go to netlify.com and create a free account and then log into the account and you will find this page right here. And you can go over here to sites and uh, you can add your website over here. Now here we have an option of importing from Git, but we're going to directly go ahead and drag and drop our folder over here. All right, this is the folder of my website. So if I open this, we can see that we have all the files over here. We also have all the images. So let's go ahead and uh, drag and drop this parent folder over here. So I'll just drag and drop it over here. And we can see that the website is being uploaded. And uh, the deploy process has completed. And uh, we have the build over here. So if I click on open production deploy, here we can see our website was uh, deployed. And uh, if you scroll down, everything is working all right. Let's click on this uh, menu items and they are not working. So let's go back to our local design. And here also they are not working. So I think we forgot to add the links. So let's go back and this is our source code and let's go to the navigation menu. And here we need to change this to the ID. So if you scroll down, here we can see for the about section, we have this ID of about. So we need to go ahead and uh, here we need to type hash about and we need to do the same for services. So if you scroll down for services, we have this ID of services. So let's add that over here. So let's type services and let's scroll down and let's see what is the ID for blog. So here we have the ID of blog and then we have the ID testimonials. So let's type blog and let's type testimonials and uh, let's scroll down and for contact we have this id of contact so let's add that over here and i'll just go ahead and copy these links and i'll just paste it over here for this navigation menu now before updating the website let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the form and right now we don't have any functionality added to this form now with netlify we have the option of adding forms pretty easily. So let's go back. And here we have this option called forms. So let's click on that. And if you scroll down, we can just enable form detection. And then we need to just add this name for the form and also this attribute Netlify. And then the forms will be submitted to this forms section. So let's click on enable form detection. And now we can see that it is being enabled. Now while we are here, let's also go over here to domain management and uh, let's customize our domain. If you want to add a custom domain, you can add that over here as well. But I'll just go ahead and go to options and let's click on edit site name. And let's change this to live blogger. Let's see whether we have it available. And we can see that the domain is available. And now if you open this, we can see that the website is being displayed correctly. Now let's go ahead and modify the form of our website. So let's go back and uh, let's go to the form section, which is this contact section. Now here for the form, we need to add a name. So let's type name and let's set the name to contact. You can name this anything you want. And then we need to add this attribute called Netlify. And then for the input fields and text area, we need to add an attribute called name. So let's type name and let's name it email. And uh, here let's type name and I'll just name it name. And here let's type name and I'll just name it message. And now this form should work. So let's save this and uh, let's make sure that everything is working all right. So let's go ahead and add this updated website over here to Netlify. So let's go over here to deploys and let's scroll down and uh, let's go back to the folder. And let's drag and drop this folder over here. And with that, our website has been published. So 
let's go back over here and let's reload this page and then now let's click on one of these menu items so let's click on services and we can see that it is working all right all right now let's test the form so let's add some name over here so i'll just type john and for the email i'll just type john at email.com and let's add a message over here and let's click on send message and now we can see we have this thank you screen by Netlify. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go here to forms. And here we can see that we have this form submission. And if I open that, we don't have the form data displayed over here. So we need to go over here to spam submissions. And here we can see the form is being displayed over here. And we have our email and name. And if I open this, we can see that the name, email ID and the message is being displayed over here. Now this form submission was detected as a spam because uh, here we can see that all the form submissions are filtered for spam. So if someone genuinely adds some content to the form, then it will be displayed over here in verified submissions. All right, so that's basically how you can deploy your website for free using Netlify. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.